Hello everyone, hello everyone, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 75. As always, I'm Shane. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also go to codekarate.com and sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already. Find me on Google Plus as well. Today we're going to be going over the site verification module. This module basically allows you to authenticate or verify your Drupal website with various search engines. The two ones that we're going to go over today are Google Webmaster Tools and Bing Webmaster. And the reason you might want to do this is because by verifying with the various search engines, they provide metrics, they provide notifications and reports, things like that that can help you ensure that your site is adequately getting indexed and crawled by the search engine bots. And you know, the, uh, basically this allows you to ensure that everything's going smoothly, people are going to be able to find your site, and that your site is working the way it should, at least in the search engine's eyes. It's really easy, this module is extremely easy to get going with. I already have it downloaded and installed here on the test site. All I'm going to do is go into the modules page, scroll down and show you that I do have the site verification module installed. I can go ahead and click on configure and there's just one very simple to use interface. Basically you click the add verification button, you select the search engine, we'll go with Google. It's going to give you three options for verifying in this case. You can either create a meta tag which is going to actually add a meta tag HTML element to the home page of your website and this is one option for verifying with Google. You can upload the verification file that Google allows you to grab or you can just paste in the contents of the file and this module will create it for you. So there's three different options. And the way this works, I have Webmaster Tools, uh, my Google account opened up here and I created a new site that I, I'm going to verify. And obviously I don't own this domain so I'm just going to show you the steps. You will of course be able to actually get it to verify assuming your site is live. So when after you add a site to Webmaster Tools it's going to give you this page. The recommended method is to download this verification file so you can go ahead and click that and as you can see if I open it up it's just a little bit of or a little snippet of text just a simple HTML document so I can go ahead and download that and I could upload it using this right here I can also take the contents that I saw on that other page paste it in here grab the document name from here and paste that here and that would work as well or I can use an alternate an alternate method here of an HTML tag there's also using your, you can also use your DNS or your Google Analytics account as well basically if I want to use a meta tag I take this entire line copy that and I go ahead and just paste it in here up top go ahead and click save and now that has been that has now been added now in order to get this to work I simply leave this selected click verify Google will do its thing and look at the site and confirm that it is that this is showing up on the home page so that's how simple it is to do or to set up the Google webmaster tools Bing is pretty much identical once you add the domain to your Bing webmaster account it's going to have you or give you the ability to place an XML file on your web server. And this one is going to be called Bing Site Auth.xml. So instead of an HTML file, Bing uses an XML file, but it's the same process. You can also see that down below it gives you a meta tag if you'd prefer to use the meta tag version. I'm going to go ahead and use the XML version. and I'm just going to open that up here I'm 
you can see here's the Bing site auth file. So I'm going to copy this, the contents of this file, and I will paste it in down here. I will then grab the site name, or the file name that needs to be uploaded, and I will add that here. Didn't want that. And then go ahead and click Save. Now you can see that Bing has been added as a verification for Bing site auth.xml. And of course, it will allow me to click on this and actually see it. Google is the same way, except it uses a meta tag instead of a file. And that's all there is to it. I come down here on Bing, scroll down and click Verify and it will go ahead and go through the verification process. It doesn't get much simpler than that. It's incredibly easy to get set up. Like I said, this can be very helpful for ensuring that you can verify that the search engines are adequately indexing your site. It's going to notify you if there's any crawl errors for your site. It might help you find broken links. There's a whole bunch of different reasons you want this, if, especially if you're depending on search engine traffic. So go ahead and give it a try and let me know if you have any issues or if you have any other suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal. See you next time.